We wanted a travel show, but we wanted to do it on a budget. So, three cheap destinations, three days, and Lucy has zero idea where she's going. This trip has been put together using Skyscanner's Everywhere feature and sorting by cheapest, giving us the three cheapest locations on any given day. You can also search by nearest airport, which will find cheaper deals if you're willing to drive a little bit further than your closest airport. Yeah. You're heading to, you know, kind of more a standard European city now. You're heading to Rome, Lucy. I'm kind of jealous about that one. Oh, I love Rome. Wow, what a place to do travel. Oh my God, there's so much there. Yeah, um, that's going to be a big one. If you dropped me into Rome now and said, do me a sort of three minute travel report. Oh, 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 oh. oh you are going to, we're going to judge you on your picking because we know Rome. Don't know about Grave, don't know Stockholm so well. Rome, yeah. So you're going to have to do some, your editing of your choices is going to be key. Me, I, I've wanted to go to Rome for a long time for a very specific reason. So I think I already know what I'm going to do. How much is this ticket costing, Mike? Right? This that? one is fifty pounds. All right. Well, um, when's when when when's Lucy flying? Uh, very soon. You okay. are yes, an hour twenty. Hop All on right. the flight. Have a good time in Rome. Skates on. Rome beckons. How exciting. I can't wait to go to Rome next. This is great. Uh, Lucy, good luck. Thank you, as always, for your services as our roving travel reporter. Um, Mike and I will be back in touch with you when you've completed your next mission. I'm on a, another Air Serbia flight, but once again, it's not actually run by Air Serbia. It's run by... Dan Air. No idea who Dan is, but we'll find out if he runs a good plane service. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now on our final approach. I have landed in Rome. First points for Rome. It is absolutely lovely temperature-wise. I'm not too hot. I'm not too cold. It is perfect. I've found the buses and I've got my ticket. Next one's in 20 minutes. My ride is here. Just arrived at the hostel, gonna get some sleep and then tomorrow exploring Rome. I've got a little bit of an idea what I'm gonna do and it's something to do with the book Angels and Demons by Dan Brown, big fan. I am just about to leave my hostel and start my journey through Rome. I'm pretty excited for this one. I've even gotten up an hour earlier than any other day on this trip. Let's go. The first stop today is a place called Santa Maria Vittoria, which is one of the little churches from Angels and Demons. Pretty excited to see what it's like in real life and if it looks like the area they filmed in for the movie adaptation. Oh my God, there's people and cars everywhere and it's 8 a.m. Santa Maria de la Vittoria, not far from the Trevi Fountain, is a stunning example of Baroque architecture. Baroque architecture. Baroque architecture. Who am I gonna ask to film me? I don't have anywhere to put my tripod, so it's gonna have to be a stranger, but Italians look so busy. Okay, this lady. Mm, no, not that lady. Are you turning left, Ponytail? No, you are not. Scusi, would you mind filming me for two seconds? Just, just that, like, 10 okay. seconds. Thank you. Santa Maria de la Vittoria Church. Okay, first down. How does it look? Oh no, <laughs> there's a massive bus right when I start talking. Oh, damn it! I'm gonna have to ask another stranger. This one looks promising. Mm. Excuse me, would you mind filming? No. Would you mind filming me for two seconds? Uh, photo? Uh, yeah, video. Si. Si. Grazie. Grazie. Santa Maria de la Vittoria, not far from the Trevi Fountain, is a stunning example of Baroque architecture. Grazie. Figura di. There you are. St. Teresa. 
Okay, so far, so good. First impressions of Rome so far, it is very, very busy. There's people absolutely everywhere. There's cars everywhere. There's a lot of crossing the road and I'm not quite sure what the protocol is because there's no traffic lights and cars sometimes stop, sometimes don't. So what I've been doing is I've been waiting for an Italian to basically come and cross the road and then attaching myself to him just to be safe because I have no idea what I'm doing. Next, I'm gonna go and find the Pantheon and do a piece on that for the travel show. Although, I don't know how I'm gonna cross. I'm on like a roundabout. Pantheon. Oh shit, that's Trevi Fountain. That wasn't on the itinerary. Oh, they're cleaning it. That's cool. I wonder if they get paid to clean it or if they just get to keep all of the coins. This is the perfect place for a time lapse showing how many people are here. The Trevi Fountain. It is pretty cool to look at, but it's not on my list, so not wasting too much time here. Completed around 126 AD, the Pantheon is a remarkable architectural achievement. The most striking feature is its massive dome. That's going to be pretty hard to film without a drone. Oh, I hate asking people to film me. <laughs> this is so good. Uh, I missed my chance with them, damn it. Completed around 126 AD. Oh my god, Lucy, what's wrong with you? Excuse me, would you mind filming me for two seconds, please? Sure, yeah. Thank you so much. It's, it's recording. Completed around 126 AD, the Pantheon is an incredible architectural marvel. Thank you so much. Yeah, Cheers. Bloody love an American. I've just finished my piece on the Pantheon. Next up, I'm off to Fumi Fountain, which in the book is where Robert Langdon finds a almost dead priest drowning and he actually saves him. So, go Tom Hanks. They bloody love an obelisk here. There's no way that that is deep enough to swim around in. Which river are you representing, sir? <laughs> He's got a pigeon on his head. Fumi Fountain features four statues representing four of the world's most important rivers. Dolce and Gabbana have perfectly placed their ad so that it comes through the middle of the fountain. I've just finished my piece on Fumi Fountain. Next up, I'm heading towards the Castello and the Vatican. Love a baby blue Vespa. I've just arrived at my next location, which is the castle. It's pretty awesome so far, and you go on a lovely little pedestrian footbridge to get there. Let's go explore a little more. A raised corridor connects the castle to the Vatican to provide a safe getaway for the Pope. Cool, got that. Oh my God, my toes. Ha, oh, ha. Oh. Oh my god, my toes. I've just finished my piece on the castle. I'm now heading towards the Vatican. And I'm hoping to see the corridor in which Robert Langdon heads down towards the Vatican from the castle towards the end of the book. Shame about the diggers and containers in the background. I really love that in some places like Rome in Europe, you can fill your water up from these super old looking fountains. Look at me, look at me, dude. I'm meant to be observant. How can you not see this loitering person in a hoodie? Can I, it's okay? Yeah? And thus ends our whistle stop tour of Rome. Ciao! Grazie. Nice soldier, he smiled at me. I am inside Vatican City and I have just done my piece for the travel show here. Next up, I need to find somewhere to do the intro. I have no idea where that's gonna be, but I think I'm gonna find somewhere quiet and call an old friend to see if he has any advice. Yes, I'm talking about Mr. James May. Oh, I'm baking in my hoodie. How can I make the exact same mistake as yesterday? I wonder if I can get some spray off this fountain to cool me down. Uh, I'm a little sit down instead. 
Okay. I think I'm gonna find somewhere quiet and ring James. I've just been walking through a ton of little back streets to go to my next location. And they're so pretty. You can turn down an alley and suddenly there's loads of little restaurants, people outside enjoying their day. It's lovely. Hello. How's it going? Very well. Where are you? I'm actually in Rome. Oh, have you run out of money? <laughs> Not quite yet. Um, I'm filming a cheap travel show and I was wondering if I could ask you for some help. Is it money usually when young people bring me up from abroad? Is there only money left? No, it's not money, it's expertise. I have been filming here all day and I've been covering all the different locations from Angels and Demons by Dan Brown, so it's one of my favourite books and it's one of the reasons I've always wanted to come to Rome. But I haven't filmed my intro yet and I have no idea where to do it. And of course, you've been to Rome been to Italy a ton for your travel show. Any recommendations? Yes. Somewhere to do an intro. Um, yeah. Mm, Colosseum. It's quite big. That is quite big. It would look quite impressive. Can you speak Italian? Ciao. Buongiorno. That's about it. That's it. Grazie. 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 Do that with your fingers. Um, yeah, I do that. Awesome. That's super useful. Thank you. I was, yeah, I was struggling a little bit because there's so much choice, obviously, in Rome. Yeah, but there is. Are you just there for one day? Yeah. I would fly out tonight. Less than 24 hours. Right. Mm, there is quite a bit to digest in Rome. <laughs> yeah, it's been quite overwhelming, but so far I'm loving it. Good. But you definitely don't want any money. No, I'm good for money. I'm not allowed to spend much, so I'm good. Excellent. Carry on. Perfect. Thanks, James. Alright, good luck. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Ciao. Ciao. Bye. I just took the metro to the Colosseum and I didn't feel much of it. You'll see why from this footage. I have arrived. Oh, overspun. I have arrived at the Colosseum. It is massive. I'm going to do my intro here. Trusty. Oh, no, not trusty. <laughs> What am, I, what am I doing wrong? What can I do to stop you doing that? See that? Think Lucy Logic, you need to be in front of that bar. There we go. I've no idea how I'm gonna frame this. That is horrendously framed. That is perfectly framed. Often called the Eternal City, Rome is a place where emperors once ruled and take in its vibrant culture. I have just finished my intro for the travel piece, which is my final thing for the day. Now I need to get myself back to the airport so I can start editing. Lucy, hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Had a very yeah. good day today. Did well now? Did you? You see, I'm 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 looking to see if your your brain is boggled because there's a lot to see and do there. Yes, I, I it was very hectic and quite busy, and I can tell I'm quite tired. But I've always wanted to come to Rome, so the pure sort of excitement of being in Rome sort of has, has brought me through. It is an amazing place, but what I can't imagine is what it feels like to be dropped in Rome, like one of the cultural centres of the universe with just history dripping from every facet of it and charged with on the spot making a travelogue about it. How did you find it? I had to be 
I think you're quite selective and not sort of waste time. Like I stumbled across the Trevi Fountain, which wasn't on my list. And I had to be like, no. It's quite a thing to stumble across. (laughs) It's it's quite distracting. Yeah. I had to be like, no, don't waste time here. It's not on your video. Keep going. Um, How How did you whittle it down to what you've done? Well, one of the reasons I'm going to sound like such a nerd, one of the reasons I've always wanted to go to Rome is because one of my favourite books is Angels and Demons by Dan Brown. Oh, so Lord. right. I went to the places from the angel, some like some of the places from the Angels and Demons book. I sort of recreated the route from from the oh, book. Clever. So you've themed it, which is when you're faced with that much material, it's not a bad idea. So you've themed it around that. Mike, are you familiar with the book? I, I like it. That means there's going to be some conspiracy theories floating around in this one. I'm keen. Hmm. Okay. Well, um, we've downloaded it each. Are you ready for us to watch it, Lucy? Is that okay? We'll yep. be kind. We won't We won't judge you harshly, but I'm looking forward to watching it. Right, I'm going to pull it up on my screen now, Mike. Have you got it up on your screen? Yep, I'm good to go. Should we do our usual? I'll do three, two, one, then go. Yes. Yeah, okay, right. And three, two, one. One. Often called the Eternal City, Rome is a place where emperors once ruled, gladiators once battled, and legacies were etched into stone. Ooh, got a script going. These are nice shots. Today, it's a bustling metropolis and home to over 2.8 million Romans. 10 million tourists flock to Rome each year to see its ancient architecture, enjoy its mouth-watering cuisine, and take in its vibrant culture. I've wanted to come here ever since I read Angels and Demons by Dan Brown, so today we're going to take in some of the coolest locations from the book. I love the theme. I love the nerdiness. Completed around 126 AD, the Pantheon is a remarkable architectural achievement. The most striking feature is its massive dome, which was the largest concrete dome in the world for over a thousand years. It was originally dedicated to the ancient gods of Rome before it was transformed into a Christian church in the 7th century. That's one of the reasons it is so well preserved. Santa Maria della Vittoria, not far from the Trevi Fountain, is a stunning example of Baroque architecture. The church was built in the 17th century and is famous for its ornate interior designed by Lorenzo Giovanni Bernini. How many takes did you do of that? (laughs) I've always been impressed by the pronunciation. Inside this church, you'll be able to admire one of Bernini's best sculptures, The Ecstasy of St. Teresa. Completed in 1653, Fumi Fountain, also designed by renowned sculptor Bernini. This Bernini guy got around. Yeah, busy. Features four statues representing four of the world's most important rivers. The Danube, the Nile, the Ganges, and the Rio de la Plata. It's one of his most famous works. These are good facts. Castel San Angelo was originally constructed as a mausoleum for the Roman Emperor Hadrian and his family in the 2nd century AD. Over the centuries, it was transformed into a fortress to serve as a safe haven for various popes. A raised corridor connects the castle to the Vatican, allowing the pope to escape safely if needed. I remember seeing that in the film. I think that was in Angels and Demons. The Vatican, a tiny city-state in Rome, is a place of profound spiritual and historical significance. It's the heart of the Roman Catholic Church, home to the Pope and of St. Peter's Basilica. Inside, the Vatican Museum houses an unbelievable collection of art, including Michelangelo's masterpiece on the Sistine Chapel ceiling. And thus ends our whistle-stop tour of Rome. It's been an incredible experience and I definitely recommend the visit. Ciao! Oh, that was tremendous. Lizzie, you are a travel reporter now. That was good. And theming it was clever, because otherwise you'd need like a five-hour documentary to cover even a tenth of it. What do you reckon, Mike? Yeah, I loved it. Do you know what? I've never been to Rome either, so that was actually a really nice insight. Um, And yeah, I'm a big Dan Brown fan, so seeing some of those sites, really cool. Well done. You totally need to get to Rome, Mike. You need to go. And now you've been inspired um, by our own travel reporter on our own travel show, which is... So let's just have a reminder, you're, you're finished now, that's it. Your journey is over, Lucy. Well done, once again. Um, right, so we, have, so we have spent just under 80 quid, I make it, to go to Stockholm, Belgrade, Rome for our travel show. That is not bad, it is still working. This is still, it's cut price, but the cut price budget nature of it gives it its character. I think we're onto something tremendous here. Uh, and we're also turning you, Lucy, into an initially slightly unwilling, but now willing travel reporter. Uh, and you're past your finding it awkward standing in front of things, talking to your telephone. 
midway through each location I'm like oh I could do this and then it comes to the next day and the next location I'm like oh I can't do this I'm gonna start again well look your mission is complete for this trip um well done for just under 80 pounds visiting three fascinating places in three fascinating countries well done congratulations mission accomplished I can't wait for the next one this is great fun we're gonna do it again well done Lucy. thank you guys yeah.